So when Dominion said they would come in and answer the question, this was an opportunity for them to demonstrate who they were, the services they were providing, the products that they were uh, selling us, and how they were being utilized. Unfortunately, they're um, rescinding their, their acceptance of participation in our committee hearing, robbed our voters of that information. That was Pennsylvania State Representative Don Kiefer just moments ago slamming officials. She was talking about Dominion voting systems after they backed out, as she said, of a hearing at the state capitol. Newsmax White House correspondent Emerald Robinson has been following these fast-moving developments. Um, from my knowledge, Emerald, this is the first time we've heard from Giuliani and, and, and friends, if you will, of the campaign. Um, we've heard from them about Dominion. This is the first time I've seen a state actually come out about Dominion. Tell me about this. Yeah, it's really interesting, Sean. A lot of people have been asking where is Dominion Voting Systems and any representatives for them as they continue to get criti criticized in states across the country and as there's lots of questions. And we'll get to that in just a minute. But one thing I can tell you, uh, Sean, is that while looking at anomalies that could have been caused by voting machines, they're relying a lot, the campaign, on statistical analysis, right? And that's something that we saw the president actually tweet about today and talking about uh, what they will present to the court. Today, he talked specifically about Michigan, tweeting out this graph from Justin Hart and saying, we'll use these charts in our court case. The election was a hoax. Thank you, Justin. Now, if you look more closely in another chart at uh, the data here, it says that uh, this is another view of the uh, Michigan data. The arching lines are total cumulative vote adding up for the candidates between Tuesday and Wednesday in the week of the election. Notice the normal jump when a batch comes in for 57 percent for Biden and the abnormal jump when it comes in at 96 percent for Biden. That happened at the 6.30 a.m. mark, according to this statistician. So that's something that the campaign keeps pointing out. And as you said, those uh, Pennsylvania lawmakers had hoped to present kind of information like this to the Dominion Voting Systems, along with other questions that their voters, they say their taxpayers have, to assuage any concerns about them. However, in the 11th hour last night, these uh, representatives decided to lawyer up and not show up for a hearing today, begging the question from lawmakers in Pennsylvania, what are they hiding? Listen. Unfortunately, last evening, Dominion Voting Systems lawyered up and backed out of their commitment to the people of Pennsylvania to provide their input in a public format and discuss their voting systems of which 1.3 Pennsylvanians entrusted. Instead of running towards a light of honesty and integrity, Dominion Voting Systems retreated to the darkness. Trust must be earned. It's up to Dominion Voting Systems to earn the voters' trust. And it does seem to make sense, Sean, if Dominion Voting Systems would have shown up at that hearing and answered a lot of questions that not just Pennsylvanians, but Americans across the country had had in the recent weeks, it could probably clear up some of this uh, controversy over the machines, potentially. But yeah. it could also potentially get them in more trouble, as uh, some of the representatives from the Trump campaign pointed out. Right. The lawsuits are out there. Obviously, there's the court of public opinion, which we both know about that that's happening right now, that would quell it. I wonder if more states would come forward about this to call on Dominion voting systems. And would they eventually have to respond at this point? And you think they would? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Emma Robinson joining yeah, us live from the White House. You would think they would. And it'll also be a question if they had to respond to the campaign. Yeah. Right. Exactly right. And that, maybe that happens next week. <laughs> Thanks, we'll John. see. And then I think Kaylee McEnany has a press conference coming up at noon. Uh, maybe we'll see more pushback on Dominion. Yep. Either way, we appreciate Emerald always Probably. on top of it. Thank you very much. A dark